Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back. In this report, Mel Gibson is going viral after destroying Kamala Harris and bringing into question her extremely low IQ and the clip, well, it's spectacular. Also tonight, CNN is now forced to admit that Donald Trump may actually win the popular vote. Yes, you can see the pain on their faces when they have to admit it, and it's absolutely glorious. You won't want to miss this report. Stick around. Before we start this report, please double check if you're still subscribed. I'm currently being shadow banned here on YouTube and people are having a hard time finding my videos or getting notifications for my latest videos. So if you want to help me and support the real news, please smash subscribe and let's start the report. Well, folks, we are getting close to the election. We are now 10 days and 13 hours away from the next U.S. election, and it's completely imploding for Kamala Harris. But before we get into the latest clips here, let's go look at these odds here on Polymarket, as Trump is now at 65.7%. This is his largest lead to date. I have not seen Trump break the 30% lead since the start of this campaign versus Kamala. Incredible. If you look here, Trump is almost at the same odds he was right before Biden dropped out of the election after his disastrous debate. As you can see on the trend line here, Trump is surging at the perfect time here with 10 days to go before the election. This is great. And Trump's leads in all the swing states here keep growing with him blowing out Harris in, in Arizona and Georgia really badly and Nevada. It's a bloodbath in those states. And he's winning in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. So yes, folks, with 10 days to go before the election, it's a bloodbath for Kamala Harris. Her campaign is imploding, Trump is surging, and it looks like the world is going to be made great again. But the L's just keep piling up for Kamala Harris here as this tweet is going viral here on X, a clip of Mel Gibson basically admitting to a reporter that he's voting for Trump because Kamala is dumb as hell. Look at this. Being voted on uh, in days. What, what's your thoughts? Oh man, that's a big question. What's well, Trump? I don't think it's going to surprise anyone who I vote for. Well, so I mean, I, I I'm going to just I'm going to guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to guess. Uh, Trump. Trump. Obviously. <laughs> Is that a bad guess? I think it's a pretty good guess. Well. What do you think the world will be like uh, in a second, a second uh, term with with President with a President Trump second term? A lot I, of people. I, are... I, I know what it'll be like if we let her in. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> and that ain't good. Yeah. I agree. Well, this miserable track record, Which way? appalling way? track record. No. no policies to speak yeah. of. Yeah. And the border, right? And she's got the IQ of a fence post. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He actually said it about Kamala. He said the part that we all are thinking, right? <laughs> Say, play that again, man. This is glorious. This is glorious. What a punchline to end off his statement there. Mel Gibson, man. Wow. That ain't good. Yeah. Well, this Miser miserable track record, Which way? appalling way? track record, no. no policies to speak yeah. of. Yeah. And the border, right? And she's got the IQ of a fence post. <laughs> Being voted on. So good. That was amazing. And you know what, folks? I'm not the only one who really enjoyed this clip, as the internet comments are absolutely golden. Let's go read some. Our first one says, rolling into the polls in epic fashion. Next comment from Sassitude writes, that's kind of insulting to a fence post. At least the fence post can do its job. <laughs> Albert writes, fence posts all around the, around the world insulted. Melky Zadek writes, fence posts are actually useful. <laughs> nice. For this comment from Machiavelli, me voting for Trump in 2016. Me voting for Trump in 2024. 
The enthusiasm is out of this world. Zadok writes, just two patriots staring at each other. Next comment from Mags writes, she got the IQ of a fence post. <laughs> <laughs> wow shout out to braveheart for cooking kamala as hard as he did there that was absolutely glorious well done mr gibson well done and the l's don't just stop there for kamala harris as cnn are forced to admit something people thought was impossible trump may actually win the popular vote look at this Trump may finally get his great white whale. Harris versus Trump national margin. You mentioned that New York Times poll, a tie. That's actually right in the middle of the spectrum when we're talking about recent polling data. You don't have to look very far to find Donald Trump ahead nationally. He was up by two points in the CNBC poll, up by three in the Wall Street Journal poll. Very close races within the margin of error. But then the same thing on the other side, right? You have Harris up by three points, according to Ipsos. The Say 24 YouGov poll, that's a bunch of academics, also has Harris up by three. But the bottom line is, with the popular vote, which we really haven't focused upon, a very, very tight race, John. Fact is, Donald Trump is very much in a position he could win the popular vote, which, of course, is something he would absolutely love to do. And would be something very different than we have seen compared to last time and the polling compared to last time. Nobody thought him winning the popular vote would even be possible, and he may actually pull this off. This is wild. Exactly right. So I went back through the time machine, all right? I went back through the time machine to see where were the past two races at this point in the campaign. Look, Harris in the average poll right now is up by one, well within the margin of error. You go back four years ago, Joe Biden was well ahead of Donald Trump in the national popular vote polls. He was up by nine. Even Hillary Clinton was up by six points. So now Donald Trump's in a position he really hasn't been before at this point in the campaign where he could truly compete. And we can truly say that the popular vote at this point is way too close to call. Of course, wow. this is only going back eight years. I wanted to jump even further back in my time machine again, understanding, hey, I haven't heard about a Republican potentially winning the popular vote in a while. And it turns out a Republican winning the popular vote, it hasn't happened since 2004. George Bush. George W. Bush defeating wow. John Kerry. And that's only the, the one time that it has happened. In fact, you have to go all the way back, all the way back to 1988 to find another one. Was that Reagan? It was George W. Bush's father, oh, George H.W. Bush, winning the popular vote over Michael Dukakis. Wow. So the fact that the polls right now are so close, John, the fact that Donald Trump has a legitimate shot of winning the popular vote is something I think a lot of folks, including in my line of work, really didn't think could possibly happen when Donald Trump was running last time around. He could make history, not just for Donald Trump, but for a Republican candidate as well. Now, there, there are wow. some reasons for this, and I think Democrats' heads are all exploding out there watching this right now. <laughs> there are some reasons for this, which you're going to explain, which also begin to raise the possibility that we could see the reverse. We could see the reverse of things we've seen where a Republican wins the popular vote, but there's a chance for the Democrat to win the electoral college. Yeah, yeah, part of my job is to warn our viewers on either side of the aisle of an event that may occur that they don't necessarily like, and Donald Trump winning the popular vote could absolutely happen. You might as well wrap your minds around it now, folks, if you don't like Donald Trump. But on the flip side of that, a potentially good sign for Democrats is why is Donald Trump doing so well in the popular vote polls? You can dig down into the state level polling and you can see that Donald Trump is doing particularly well in California, wow. Florida, New York, and Texas. Of course, New York and none California? of these states are really on the board at this point. So Donald Trump may end up gaining in the national popular vote polls, but actually he's wasting votes, which could in fact lead to a case where Kamala Harris could sneak by in the Electoral College by sweeping those Great Lake battleground states, which at this point are way too close to call, John. That's right. It'd be interesting to see then if all that talk about Electoral College uh, reform takes on a bit of a new light. It may, in 2000, remember folks thought that Al Gore would win the Electoral College and losing the popular vote. It turns out they were all wrong. All right, there you have it, okay? And the market seems to believe that Trump may actually win the popular vote now. As you see, the market wasn't believing that it was possible here back in September and August. But now as we get closer to the election, Trump's chances of winning the popular vote are surging. He's now at 41.6%. This is incredible. This is not even supposed to be close. So yes, folks, Trump is surging at the best time possible, and Kamala is imploding completely. This is something to see here. But we're going to wrap this episode up. So tell me in the comments down below, 
What did you guys think of that Mel Gibson clip with Kamala Harris? How would you describe her IQ? Is it something even dumber than a fence post? Do you think he's not being fair? I want to hear what you think of Kamala Harris's IQ in the comments down below. Also, do you think Trump has a chance to win the popular vote? Is this actually going to happen? Let me know what you think in the comments. For the real ones who stuck around to the end, you're going to get a bonus clip after this. But if you want to support my channel, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, or possibly buy a membership for five Canadian dollars. My name is The Pleb, and I'll see you at the next report. Peace. Oh, no. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? It isn't here on television. Mike, look at her. No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm begging you, America. Please don't give us four years of this. See you at the next report. Peace.